Solid waste is a, a product generated by human activities. The quantity is very large and the composition also very heterogeneous. So this is a problem, problem in urban area particularly, uh, in a developing country that must be solved. Our waste is mixed and then collected and then transported to a final disposal located in outside of the city, sometime more than 30 kilometers. So the transportation cost will be high. Most of our landfill site operated by open dumping so they will generate a leachate that can pollute groundwater. They will emit greenhouse gases to the environment without control. A landfill is not a good solution. Sebagian besar dari sampah yang dihasilkan bahkan tidak sempat mencapai TPA. Namun berakhir pada pembakaran liar, dibuang di jalan, di saluran air, bahkan di laut. Secara umum, sampah yang tidak dikelola dengan baik memiliki dampak buruk bagi lingkungan dan kesehatan masyarakat. Selain itu, jika tidak dikelola dengan baik, sumber daya nutrisi dan energi yang terdapat pada sampah akan terbuang sia-sia. Alasan utama dari pengolahan sampah yang buruk adalah pandangan bahwa sampah bukanlah barang bernilai. It is important to take a closer look at the type of waste and its composition in a specific place because then we realize that waste consists of different materials. Most of the solid waste in developing countries is uh, organic waste coming mostly from uh, food waste and also uh, fruit and vegetable waste. So, if we can safely manage this fraction, it can contribute substantially to an improved solid waste management system. Sampah organik dapat diolah menjadi berbagai macam produk yang bernilai dan menunjukkan permintaan pasar yang cukup tinggi. Sampah organik merupakan sumber daya yang berharga. Untuk mendapatkan manfaatnya, sampah organik perlu dikumpulkan secara terpilah dan diolah dengan benar. Bio waste can be transformed into compost. During the process, microorganisms, worms, and fungi decompose the organic matter. By doing this, they release heat, which hygienizes the waste. The result is compost, a valuable soil amendment which can be used in agriculture. Bio-waste can also be converted into biogas. During this process, called anaerobic digestion, different microorganisms decompose the organic matter and produce biogas. This biogas contains methane. It can be used for cooking, replacing conventional cooking fuels such as wood, charcoal, or LPG. Bio waste can also be fed to animals such as goats, chicken, or fish. But fresh waste can be contaminated. Also, it rots fast. A more storable form is preferred to ensure a good quality animal feed. One proven technology for producing good quality animal feed is vermicomposting. The waste is fed to worms, and these are then harvested and fed to animals, for instance, fish. Another option for transforming bio-waste is by feeding it to insects and hereby creating insect protein. 
sampah organik di Indonesia itu kalau kita lihat profil yang ada di sampah kita itu sekitar 50 sampai 60 persen itu sampah organik jadi kalau kita bisa mengolah sampah organik itu berarti kita bisa menyelesaikan 60 persen dari sampah yang ada kan jadi bagi kita pengelolaan sampah organik itu harus menjadi menjadi concern jadi menjadi perhatian kita supaya apa kita bisa menyelesaikan sampah di Indonesia ini semakin dekat pengelolaan sampah itu di lingkungan atau di rumah tangga semakin bagus namun semua itu kan butuh tenaga dan butuh apa waktu untuk memilah The main goal of Project Forward is to develop specifically for Indonesia uh, suitable technologies, uh, strategies and implementation models to recycle the organic fraction of municipal solid waste. Forward stands for from organic waste to recycling for development. It is a cooperation between the Swiss government and the Indonesian government. Forward aims at supporting medium-sized cities in Indonesia. That's why we are located in Sidoarjo, a regency of about 2 million inhabitants, uh, just south of the second biggest city of Indonesia, namely Surabaya. As a first step, uh, we made several assessments. A waste mapping, determine the quantities, the types, the qualities of organic waste that is produced in Sidoarjo. Secondly, we looked at existing practices. Uh, what are the roles of the different stakeholders in the current waste management setup? And finally, and probably the most important assessment, is a market study, uh, trying to answer the question which of the potential conversion products from organic waste can be profitably sold in the market. Uh, is that compost? Is that biogas? Is that biochar? Or is that insect protein? We concluded that uh, insect protein derived from black solder fly larva stands the best chances to be sold profitably in Sidoarjo. Black solder fly technology sounds very difficult, but actually it is just animal farming. You feed something to the animal and you harvest the animal for its protein. In our case, the animal is an insect. We have been looking at, at how uh, how detrivores treat organic waste and now we, we bring that into uh, technology. So a BSF bio waste conversion system uh, basically consists of two parts. The first part of is the actual bio waste treatment. This involves the pre-processing of the bio waste such as shredding and dewatering and the result of that is fed to a defined number of BSF larvae which have been produced in the nursery. The larvae will feed on the bio waste and this will result in a reduction of the waste and an increase in the BSF larvae mass. After 12 days of feeding, the matured BSF larvae can be harvested. The harvested larvae consists mainly of protein and fat and can therefore be used as fish or chicken feed. And the residue will be composted. The larvae themselves are produced in a BSF nursery, which is the second part of the system. The goal of this nursery is to produce five-day-old larvae, which are needed for the waste treatment. So for this, we have to grow larvae in a controlled and engineered way. And this really requires an understanding of the biological life cycle of the BSF. So we let the flies emerge in dark cages from their pupae, and we then attract the flies with a light and therefore they move into uh, another cage, which is called the love cage. In this love cage, the flies mate and lay eggs in uh, specifically prepared egg media. The larvae will hatch from the eggs, and after another five days, the young larvae are ready to be counted. About 1% of all the larvae are used again in the nursery cycle, and then the other 99% of the larvae is used again in the waste treatment. So what do we need to know to successfully treat bio-waste? We need to understand the local context, the bio-waste availability, 
the demand for certain conversion products from waste, and all this helps us select the appropriate technology. If there is a profit from bio-waste, I am convinced that this is an incentive to improve waste management. Sekaranglah waktunya untuk pengolahan sampah organik yang lebih baik.